Newport News public school students are getting a break from some exams this semester. The school division says it's because of technical issues and school leaders are working right now to fix the problem. Angelo Vargas is live in Newport News with reaction from parents. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Philip, the Newport News Public School Superintendent tells us their virtual testing system could not handle so many students testing at the same time. Parents are adapting to virtual learning. Robert Reynolds turned his bedrooms into classrooms. Reynolds has a lot of questions after he heard about benchmark testing being canceled. My son's in fourth grade. You know, I want to get a complete picture of where he's at and, and where he's going. Um, and, and of course, my wife's an educator as well for the division. She's frustrated because they, they obviously want to be able to know what their next steps are. Reynolds wants to know how the school division's information system could not handle testing. Was there a network issue? I mean, with everybody being home, obviously there's a lot more strain on the resources that are available. But it's like this wasn't this wasn't unanticipated. We spoke to Newport News Superintendent Dr. George Parker about the cancellation of some student tests. He said their testing system couldn't handle the amount of students taking exams at the same time. Not only students could not access or they were being kicked out uh, of the system during the test administration. The technical issues started with elementary and middle school benchmarking tests last Thursday. Parker canceled those tests but said there is a plan to get student data to parents like Reynolds. We also felt that we could probably get that information from uh, in-school classroom uh, assessments from teachers. The issue continued this week for high school students. The school division canceled credit bearing exams for this semester. So we have been in contact with the vendor. They've been working hand in hand with my technology team. And we feel that this problem will be corrected in the very near future. In Newport News, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now.